Hi everybody, it's Stephanie from Sexy Plus Clothing. Thanks for joining our Facebook Live show. Um, you can just walk around me if you need to. There's nobody here yet. <laughs> and it is Tuesday, January 3rd. I hope everybody had a good holiday. Um, how was your New Year's? My New Year's was pretty cool. Um, for Christmas, um, I went to my sister's for dinner. It was just chill. Um, just had like a traditional, you know, turkey dinner, whatever. Sat around the table, talked, you know, told jokes, opened presents. Um, hey, Katerina, thanks for joining. Um, refresh the page. So at the top up here, there's a refresh button. And then it'll refresh the page. Hey, I'm back, just taking care of all technical difficulties. Um, that's so funny that the Facebook Live pops up. Put on a mask to give yourself a fun look. Like, really, Facebook? Anyway, Lisa or Liza, um, so glad you joined too. Um, so yeah, so and then for New Year's, um, Howard, my husband and I didn't really have any plans. So um, at the last minute, I just said, um, you know, do you want to like go have dinner somewhere? Um, just to say that we did something. So we uh, drove around downtown Mississauga and ended up going to uh, the beer market, which I had never been to before. And uh, I didn't know that it was um, like, I'm not sure if it's German, but it's European. And my background is Dutch. And uh, hey, Teresa, thanks for joining. Um, yeah, it worked. Thank you. Um, and so I didn't know that it was European food. So we go in, I look at the menu at uh, beer market and I see that they have uh, Gouda, which is a type of cheese, right? Gouda bombs, which is like the European, European version of mozzarella sticks. So I'm like, oh yeah, we're totally eating here. Um, cause that's like, like pierogies, cabbage, all that European food, totally right up my alley. I don't know about you guys. So what did you guys do, um, for New Year's, you know, stay in, um, you know, another thing that was cool about that night is that there was like zero traffic. There was no lineup at the restaurant, like everything in the night just went great. And I've had previous, um, you know, New Year's Eve where, um, you know, we cabbed it because we weren't sure, like neither one of us or Howard or I are big drinkers. Um, so we cabbed it and then hi, Tracy Scott. Thanks for joining Brittany. Hello. Thank you. Thanks for sharing. Um, yeah, and there's like, you know, taking a cab, so there's that expense, waiting in lineups, waiting for the cab out at the end of the night, bleh. Um, so just not into that anymore. So going out to dinner was just lovely. I really enjoyed it. Um, I noticed that Ophelia Enterprises just shared our video. Ooh, cool. <laughs> um, Tracy, you say you spent time with in-laws and brunch New Year's Day. That's, that's what it's all about, right? Everybody just kind of like slowing down, spending time with family, eating, right? Um, Liza says the family was in bed by 10, but I stayed up and enjoyed a quiet bottle of wine. That is the best. Like if you have like the, all the lights are off, the Christmas tree light is still kind of glowing in the back. It's quiet. It's like, it's all about cozy, quiet, warmth. And I think that that's what I really love about the holidays. So I hope that you had a great holiday. Um, you know, happy new year to everybody. Hi, Donna. Thanks for joining. Jackie, thanks for joining. Thank you. Nice to see you. Happy New Year. Teresa's already shared it. Boy, you guys are trained so well. I haven't even asked you to share it yet. And you're like, share, share. <laughs> Is it because you love supporting me or because you want the prize? Hmm? Let's be honest, everybody. Um, Ashley Dawn, thanks for joining. She says she babysat and watched a movie. Totally cool. Totally chill, right? Anyway, so, yep. Thanks. Um you know, for your support in 2016. Happy New Year. And uh, I'm certainly looking forward to 2017. I noticed the other day somebody had posted on Facebook, what are you happy to leave behind in 2016? And I thought, you know what? Nothing. I'm actually grateful for everything. Um, Linda, thanks for joining. Nice to see you. So um, for today's show, I've got a very special guest who I'll introduce you to in just a moment. Um, we're going to talk about our trailblazers, people that we admire, Trailblazer Tuesday. Um, what is Canadian confidence? That's something I'm going to talk to you about, a project I was involved in. Um, my guests and I are going to try stuff on and model it for you live here on the show. Um, and 
this week's prize for um, sharing this video, and you need to come back and comment that you shared it. That's how I can capture your entry. This week's prize is a 30% discount on anything you want at Sexy Plus Clothing. So my gift to you, um, if you win, you can just go and choose. You can redeem it in store or online. So thanks for sharing. Good luck to everybody. Um, but right now, I have to introduce you to my very special guest. She was one of my previous trailblazers featured on this show. She is a motivational speaker, philanthropist, and plus-size model. Please welcome Ophelia Aileen. Yay, Ophelia! Yay. Hi! I need like an, an audience clap Woo. sound. <laughs> Ooh, yay! Hey. So welcome, Ophelia. Thanks for coming out in the pouring rain on the show today. Thank you for having me. Yeah. Everybody, Ophelia um, was, we've, we met in 2009 when I launched Sexy Plus Clothing. Um, she was the face of Sexy Plus from about 2009 all the way till I think around 2014. Um, and she was, she modeled in the very first Sexy Plus Clothing launch fashion show. I did. And I remember it was a purple maxi that you wore. And um, I didn't know any models at that point. I didn't have any connections. And, you know, you reached out and we connected. And one of the reasons why I think that we started working so much after that, you know, from a modeling perspective for me, was because there were so few businesses representing beyond a size 14, 16 model in plus size, right? And so I thought, you know, your curve were a good way for me to break those rules as a small business. I don't have to follow those rules. So I was like, you know, I want, I want people, my audience, my customers, when they're browsing the website to be able to relate. Um, and then, so we worked together, I think a lot until about 2014. And then was it in 2015 that you were signed with the um, BNM modeling agency? I, I think, think it was. It wasn't last, like last year. It was the year before it was that, the right? The end of 2014. Oh, was it? Yeah. Okay, the end of 2014. So congratulations, because that was a huge milestone that in all those years working together, you were like, I love, love, love Sexy Plus, but I want to get signed, right? <laughs> <laughs> it, it was um, quite the shock. Um, you know, that's why I often say, you know, just take a chance. Just take a chance. That's all that I did. Nothing lost. Submitted my photos, and immediately they're like, you're the confidence girl, right? Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> and they invited me in, and the rest is history. And the reason that they said you're the confidence girl is because of your motivational speaking about confidence, yes. right? Yes. Um, so you've done quite a few speaking engagements. Yes. You've won quite a few awards. Yes. You've been featured in multiple magazines, yes. right? You opened for Kirby Expo um, wearing Pennington's, right? Was it I Pennington's? I did, and Pennington's is actually a part of my story uh, in terms of me coming out and owning my body. Kirby Expo, thank you to Megan again. Oh my God, what an awesome experience. Um, to open a fashion show and to close a fashion show is a huge honor. And when I found out that, especially being probably one of the bigger models that I was opening, it was amazing. I was floored. Yeah, yeah. and your heart must have been racing too, right? I was like, oh my God, oh my God, what do I do? And you, and you <laughs> rocked it. Yeah, thank like Kirby Expo was beautifully done. I really loved it. It was hard for you to see, um, you know, as a model, what it was like for us, you know, for the consumer, yeah. for the audience to see. It was just, it's the kind of thing that when I see it, whether it's my collection or not being featured on the fashion show uh, runway, I still get emotional because I'm like, the confidence that it takes to rock those curves. And I mean, did you do lingerie or swimwear? You did one of the two, right? Um, I don't know. I don't. Think I did. I know that Katerina did swim. I think yeah, I, I think swimwear. I think Sarah did lingerie. Yeah. So there was a lot of lingerie and swimwear featured yeah. during that show. Yeah. Um, you know, which is always you know pretty bold too, right? Yeah, it is. It really is. It's you know you're like we, you know we hide kind of behind like we put you know a lot of pictures of ourselves on social media and stuff like that. But it's hard you know to be in a bathing suit. There's no filters. There's no skin smoother. It's, all out. It's, it's all, all out. It's all there. It's being recorded. It's being photographed. So it takes a lot of guts to do that, right? Well, that actually happened to me in Trinidad. So um, a few years ago, I was invited to Trinidad um, to be in the Caribbean Plus Fashion Week. 20 minutes before the show, this designer called me back, and she's like, you, 
him of me. He's like, yeah, you. It comes back. You're like, oh. And this lady, she has like the longest like one nail, which is super long. She's like, yeah. I'm like, so we get to the bathroom, and she pulls out a two piece. But first, she pulls out a one piece, and she's like, this is for you. And I'm like, oh no, 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 this is this is not for me. And I'm like, you're mistaken. And she's like, no, this is for you, and you need to put it on. And I'm like, oh my god, oh my god. And then after, she's like, actually no. She's like, there's a two piece. And I was like, oh my god, I, I'm in the stall in the bathroom, and I'm like, oh my god, oh my no. god, what am I going to do, what am I going to do? And then um, I realized, I'm like, guess what, I'm going to own it, and I'm going to rock that ish, I'm going to rock it. And um, I put it on, and um, it was amazing, it was, I, I can't, it, it was, it was, it was like liber best, liberating, it, right? Oh my god, it was one of the best experiences in my whole well, life. Well, one of the most challenging, and yeah. yet one of the most liberating, and right? And it's featured all over, so I'm here again, uh, I'm one of the bigger girls in that fashion show, and in a two-piece, booty all out, and I owned it, I loved it, I actually was invited back a second year, and I swear to you, they thought I was a swimsuit model. Every piece I wore was a so bad. Yeah. Wow. So, it was nice. I And then, I mean, I noticed here, you've, like, continued to kind of, you know, post swimsuit uh, on your Instagram, oh, right? Yeah. Yes. Isn't that gorgeous Thank right there? You. I was looking for the one from from the um, Caribbean Plus Fashion Week. Uh, I don't know if I have that on Instagram. No? Oh, okay. So I'm just getting into this whole social media bit. I've been at this since 2003 to 2004, where social media was not a thing. Like, I had MySpace, like Black Planet. That was it. <laughs> yeah, she resisted uh, Instagram a little bit, and every time I'd see her, I'd be like, get on that. She's like, when, when, are, you gonna create, uh, when like, are you going to create your page? Get on Where's that. Where's your Instagram? To be honest, if it weren't for Steph, I probably would have never had a Facebook page, a fan page. So check it out, Ophelia Enterprises. <laughs> but it took me forever, so I'm still working on the social media bit. But um, I don't but know if been, I have it on you've there. You've been doing a lot on your Instagram so. lately, though, so congratulations on that. Thanks. Yeah. Like, look how far down I'm having to scroll here. I don't think That's I That's how much there. content you have. Well, it's thanks to people like Steph. Like, Steph, really... Um, you've been a mentor in so many ways. Like, if you, like, Steph has the ability to make everything and anything look pretty, and she is really a mentor to a lot of us as well. Here's one of the pictures of Ophelia from when I had my boutique on Young Street. And so we'd find all these cool little side streets and just go shoot. And now that I'm out here, we kind of find, um, you know, it's more industrial, so we find you know, beat up garage doors and, you know, cool textures to take photos. But we've been doing the same thing. Um, Susan McDonald, she says, hi, ladies. Happy New Year. Ophelia, you are so beautiful and such an inspiration to the plus size community. Please, ladies, keep doing what you're doing. Educating, inspiring, sharing body positivity um, means so much. A big hug to you both from a curvy fan. Wow, thank, thank you, you so much, Susan thank McDonald. You. That's wonderful. <laughs> Angela Dawn, beautiful. Angela Dawn took one of my favorite pictures of me back on when I had the store on Young Street as well. Do you remember the one where my face is in the fabric? Yeah. With, yeah. Where I have the dress coming out on either side? Um, Angela Dawn oh, took that Angela, picture. Yeah. That's really good. Yeah. So nice to see you, Angela. Um, so in addition to all that, you also um, recently got a chance to model on the Shopping Channel, which yes. is a national... Uh, show right um, so how did that happen <laughs> okay so I got an e received an email from my agency and they stated that I had a go see at the shopping channel wait what's oh. a go see for all the oh so go see like you go and they see if they like you <laughs> so <laughs> I went in and um, I met um, my model coordinator which is my model manager as well um, at the shopping channel and she escorted me to the back I tried on a few dresses and after that, she started to show me around. And I was a little perplexed because I wasn't too sure. Like, did I get it? Why is she showing me the stage? Why is she telling me about uh, follow camera one, follow camera and, two? And to protect yourself, you're like, I want to believe that this is because I made it, exactly. but I haven't been received that confirmation yet. Well, and you don't want to get let your like get let down, it's right? It's true. It's true. So I was just like, okay, I'm a little unsure uh, as to what's happening. But then she showed me the place. And the fridge. the fridge. She's like, and, you know, um, here's the fridge and here's the microwave <laughs> and you can put your lunch in here. And I'm like, hmm, no one ever shows you the fridge unless they want you to. Unless stay. you're like a guest. <laughs> yeah. Wow. And so I'm like, oh my God. Oh my God. 
much. I didn't say anything. And then my agency called so me. Like, like, inside. Oh my god, oh my god. I was like, yeah. you know what? You gotta keep it cool. Oh, you're like, thank you. Lovely oh, thank fridge. You. Is that thank yogurt? Fridge. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and so that was that. And then finally my agency emailed me and told me that I received the gig at the shopping channel. Yeah. And I was officially booked in that was in November and I was officially booked in January twenty sixteen. Yeah, and you've been on there. Um, Tracy Scott, TSC, you go, girl. Thank you, Tracy. Tina, Tina Rose uh, just joined. Hey, Tina. Um, hey. Yeah, so it's, yeah, I watched that first show, too, and I haven't been able to c catch every show that you've been on. Um, is it a regular thing, or is it just based on when you're booked, so there's going to be a few episodes in between where you're not on it? How does it work? Um, to be honest with you, you really don't know until you are booked. Okay. Um, but I and it's a first show basis. It's a first yeah. show, so okay. I am their only um, two to three X model right now. Yeah. And so usually when the line goes up to that three X, then usually or two X, then usually I'm called. They will pick you. Yeah. It's so great. And from the shows that I have seen, I'm like, oh my god, I want that. Oh my god, I want that. Oh my god, I want that. Like you make the stuff look so good. Thank you so much. And I know you must hear that all the time, but it's true. <laughs> um, I like I can't have. I can't have my credit card near if I'm watching the show. Oh, yeah. Because you just make, I mean, they feature really nice stuff on the shopping channel to begin with, but you make it look really good. So, so I think that they're very, very, very lucky to have you. Thank you. And I'm surprised that it took this long for them to have a plus size. Um, but I'm sure that the shopping channel audience has rejoiced. Imagine all those plus size women for years who've been watching it and being like, I love that fashion, but I have no idea. First of all, do they make it? Because they may not be catching like the mm -hmm. size that they put at the bottom of the screen. Mm -hmm. But also, what is it going to look like, right? Well, so thousands of women, I'm sure, have been like, yes. Right? Yeah, it's true. Because they, they said to me, they said that they were looking for a bigger girl. They wanted a bigger woman. They wanted that yeah. bigger model. And they went through uh, different rosters. They went through different agencies, and they could not find her. They just, yeah, the match um, wasn't there. Agencies don't, and especially in Canada, don't have girls my size. They, they don't. Yeah. Um, I'm probably the largest right now. Yeah. And so they went back again, and they were looking again, and they overpassed me the first time. Yeah. And the second time, they're like, wait a second, she is that bigger she girl. She the bill. I, it's been such, um, like I said, I've been working at this since 2003, 2004. It's been many years, so to finally have this breakthrough, mm -hmm. I feel I feel very honored, and I feel like now, guess what? I've opened the door for that next girl, the next size 18, 20, 22 model. Yeah. She'll not have a chance to, to, to walk through that door. And for that next brand, who maybe is not on the shopping channel, yeah. but if they see it, if they're a big brand like, I don't know, Old Navy or something like that, right? For them to be like, you know what? Let's represent beyond the size 14, 16, right? Yeah. Um, so what's it like being on stage on the show? So because like, because <laughs> for me, I can only do like so many smiles, <laughs> right? Before it starts being like, mm -hmm. yeah, it, it can like, get like that. It can get like that. Like, so how do you do it? Because honestly, watching the show, your smile <laughs> is perfect all the time. Okay. So this is what I do <laughs> in my head because you know, there are days when it is hard to smile. And so you always have to get back to a good spot. And that spot... Mentally. Yeah, mentally. And people ask that. Like, how do you mentally prepare? And I just think about what makes me feel good. And what makes me feel good, one of the things that makes me feel good is meeting people. I genuinely like to meet people. So I always, in my head, I say, hi. hi. <laughs> okay, that's a hi. good one. But the funny thing is hi. I did that on camera. Yeah. I did it on camera. I did it Oh, you did? You did it out loud? <laughs> I was like... So you said hi, hi to the audience. And then I turned around and I was like... Hi. <laughs> and so my model manager, she came back immediately and she's like, Ophelia, you're not are supposed you to talk to the camera? And I'm like, no. She's like, yes. She's like, you said, hi. And then you turned around and said, hi. <laughs> and I'm like, oh my God, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> she's like, please that's don't do so that. That's so funny. <laughs> please don't do that. Yeah, please, please don't, don't say hi that. to the cameraman <laughs> and the audience. Oh my God, that's so funny. <laughs> Um, well, yeah, congratulations. I love that you got that. Um, you. you worked very hard, and I think you very much deserve it. Thank you. Um, <laughs> another uh, model who I um, want to talk about is um, 
Katerina. Um, she's the curvy blonde you see featured frequently on my website and all over the Sexy gorgeous. Plus social media. She's just gorgeous. And she's my Trailblazer Tuesday. Yay, Yay Katerina! <laughs> She usually is the one that gives me the most thumbs up anyways uh, on the, <laughs> I don't know, I don't know where she went. <laughs> um, so Katerina um, and I met in 2015 and it's actually funny because um, the first shoot that we had scheduled here, um, I stood her up. So yeah, I didn't have a reminder in my phone and it was on a Monday and Mondays the stores closed and so in my mind I'm like I'm off duty. And I didn't have a reminder, so I was like, la la, Netflix, pajamas, <laughs> sleeping, and she's like texting me, she's like, hello, I'm here. So I'm like, oh my god, I'm not. So I stood her up, <clears throat> and um, luckily she forgave me, and uh, we've been working together ever since. Um, let me show you guys a picture, if you haven't seen her already. Yeah, Katerina is very gorgeous. So that's her there. Her Instagram is Katerina Moda very easy to find and to remember. Um, so she's uh, very beautiful, talented, um, but also a loving and supportive friend as well. She's always willing to help me with anything, pitch in, um, you know, I want to set up the back uh, of the store to kind of be a studio area. She'll come in her sweats, move boxes, paint, do whatever needs doing. Um, so she's, and also always trying to support small businesses. So if she has, uh, you know, a, a school friend that, not necessarily just in the plus size industry too, like a school friend that she grew up with that started a t-shirt line, she'll make a point of going and buying a t-shirt from them, and so on and so forth. She, you know, puts her money um, to small businesses to support them. Uh, Katerina has walked in several fashion shows for Sexy Plus. She walked for Curvy Expo, for Montreal Plus Fashion Week. Um, she's chosen by um, some international brands to feature their products. Um, her popularity is just growing like crazy. Um, I think she's at 60-some thousand fans on Instagram. Wow. Um, no wonder, right? Um, and I know that we're going to see her on like the side of a bus or a building yes. really soon. Yes. And I am speaking it into yes, existence. Yes, we received that. Right? We received <laughs> that. <laughs> um, and yeah, Tracy says she loves her tokers. So mm -hmm. she has a choker line that... Um, we sell here at Sexy Plus Clothing. Katerina is also, in addition to like a superstar model, she's also a boxing coach. So here's a picture of her at the ring. Obviously, she doesn't look so hot when she's actually boxing and training. <laughs> this was a staged photo shoot, but um, so she's, you know, into her own kind of fitness, right? She's not into fitness, you know, necessarily for weight loss because she loves her body. She's very, you know, confident in her curves but she just likes to feel strong and flexible. Okay. And so dance and boxing and skipping is what she does, you know, to do that. So, um, so yeah, she's just, you know, really got it together. Um, here's another picture of Katerina just wearing a really awesome dress. And I mean, her confidence comes through, right, in her pictures. Like, you can just tell in her pose. Um, and, you know, one of the things that makes Katerina so special to me is her authentic confidence like she's she's always happy um, she speaks highly of herself she doesn't put herself down you know many of us shy away from getting compliments right like there's we've been trained like there's this weird expectation that when we get a compliment somehow we're supposed to deflect it and not receive it whereas with Katerina you'll be like oh my god you look gorgeous today she'll be like oh, I know right and she just she doesn't do it in an arrogant way it's sweet she's confident oh stop she says <laughs> Um, no, she's really, she's really confident and it doesn't mean that she doesn't have, you know, an area or two of insecurity like we all do, but she has really, I think, gotten to the point where she appreciates herself as a package. Yeah. I don't think it's realistic for anybody to be like, yes, I love every single bit about me, every little bit. As females, that's kind of impossible, you know what I mean? But you have to get to the point where you accept everything as this fabulous package, right? And Katarina is really there and I think that we should live by that, yeah. right? Um, oh, she was also, whoops, hi, 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 hi. <laughs> I'm, so, I'm so stealing that trick. Um, she was also one of the models featured in my recent, <coughs> excuse me, holiday photo shoot. Um, so I just want to show you guys a picture of that. Um, I'm 
hoping that you guys all saw it and that you saw the um, This is the Perfect Body video that I did as well. It was so good. Um, you, the video, right? Oh Wasn't it amazing? I loved it. Even the um, pictures, I loved everything. Thank you. Yeah, so this is one of the ones of um, Katarina for wow, the, Kat. the Sexy Plus uh, holiday photo shoot. So this is all on my Instagram and on her Instagram as well. Um, I love you, Kat. Um, so another thing that she was involved in recently was the Canadian Confidence video. Have you seen that, Ophelia? Amazing. Oh, my yeah. God. I loved it. Yeah. So what is Canadian Confidence? Um, actually, before we talk about that, I'm going to let you, Ophelia, who's your trailblazer Tuesday? Oh, okay. Here. I have a few. I'm going to use my that's okay. Actually, I had many, but unfortunately, your previous guests, including yourself, <laughs> you, you also took some of them too, but these ladies are also a part of that as well. So, um, we have, can I actually get my phone? I need to read this because it, it, it's quite a bit. Well, yeah, and you want to make sure that you're, I'm actually you know, shouting them out yeah, properly. Exactly. Yeah, for sure. Oops. Sorry, guys. Okay, so give me a moment, guys. Hope you do. Two seconds. Two seconds. Katarina says, thank you for the compliments. Um, Girl, so, you are fire. Katarina, you are fire. I thought you were going to say you are fired. No. I was like, I love saying fired. that. You are fired. Yeah. You, are, you are not fired, She's Katarina. She's like a ball of fire. Just she gorgeous is. inside she and out. Yeah. Like when you see her, she's yeah. flaming. That's what you are. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, Gabrielle, you're saying that was an awesome video. Um, your man is cute. Oh, you saw a picture of him in the... <laughs> it was only two seconds in a small little frame there. Um, but yeah, he's a cutie. Thank you. Um, so over to you, Ophelia. Tell us about your Trailblazer Tuesday. Okay, so I have two this week. Thank you, Steph. And um, they're both dynamic, amazing women. And uh, the very first one is Stacy McKenzie. Stacy so McKenzie. Stacy McKenzie is a Canadian fashion model, runway coach, and most most recently a coach and judge on the Canadian reality television show. Canada's Next Top Model. I can't read. <laughs> After being told in her career that she was too distinctive for the Canadian market, she moved to New York City. She was immediately picked up by elite model management. Unprepared for the challenges of modeling, Mackenzie returned to Canada and finished high school. Soon after, she moved to Paris, France to pursue modeling further. During her first season, she modeled for designers such as Jean-Paul Gaultier, Thierry Mogler, Christian LaCroix, La La sorry, um, if I've said that wrong, I'm sorry. Um, and she also landed her first campaign with, uh, with the photographer Oliverio. Um, so basically the reason why I have chosen her is because of her distinctive look. Number one, being a woman in the modeling industry is quite challenging. Being a black woman is also a second challenge. And being a woman, a black woman with a distinctive look is, is a huge challenge. And she was not the typical, yeah. um, she, she exceeded the, um, sorry, she's not the typical look that you normally see. She's yeah, not. Yeah. And despite being told no, she continued to go after her dream. And uh, I've also had the opportunity to work with her um, during the Size Sexy fashion show. Yeah. Um, she was actually um, the model coach to the models. And um, she is such an awesome person, such an awesome person, very down to earth. You can go up to her, speak to her. Um, there was no um, boundaries. There was no um, silos put in between. Like I'm better than you. Like yeah. I've graced the the, the the runways of Teddy. You know. Yeah, yeah. She was just authentically amazing, and yeah. um, she's also won several awards. Um, she also has um, a pretty popular workshop called Walk This Way, and she's empowered. You know. Um, young girls uh, she's done so much she's um, been a part of the uh, a mentor for the mass exodus um fashion show at ryerson she's just done so so she's much. canadian she's canadian yeah well she's born in um jamaica but um she lives in, resides in canada so her instagram is the real stacy mckenzie and this is what it looks like here you're getting like crazy hearts and thumbs up there for uh She's amazing. Stacey. Yeah. She's amazing. And like, you can talk to her. You can talk to her. Like, she is not one of those people. She's not stuck up. I, I just love her. I love her energy. I love what she's about. I love the fact that um, I look she didn't up take to no her. for an answer. Yeah. And she pursued, you know, what she wanted to do, right? People like her made me not take no for an answer. 
And so Mm -hmm. for that reason, she's one of my trailblazers. The Mm -hmm. next trailblazer that I have is... Jafira, thanks for joining. Hello. Oh, gosh. Here it goes. Janine Ferguson. Jeannie. Oh, sorry. Jeannie. See, I always do that. (laughs) Jeannie. Jeannie Ferguson. Sorry, guys. Sorry, Jeannie. Okay, so I had the, pr- uh, the privilege and the honor of meeting uh, Jeannie in New York a few years ago at Full Figure Fashion Week, and she's also quite supportive. She follows me. Um, I seen her years ago on BET's Rip the Runway with Mia Amber. If you don't know who Mia Amber is, please figure it out. People like Jean- uh, Jeannie Ferguson, Mia Amber, they've been trailblazers. And one thing I want to say is that sometimes we get caught up on the the new energy that is out there now which is which is great yeah but it is so important to go back recognize these moguls yeah because yeah. moguls like you know megan which she's featured Jeannie, stacy mckenzie they have paved the way when i can i see that picture again i was watching bet rip the runway and i was like who the hell is this girl with this bald head she sits at five three those chubby thighs, big firm booty, rocking it. Yeah. I've never seen anyone do it like that. Yeah. And I love her for that. She's also gone on and she's done, um, sorry, I just want to get this right. So she's actually 5'3", so she's quite short. And she's uh, known as, uh, yeah, according to Pose Magazine, she's known as the queen of petite plus models. And she does quite a bit of mentorship in the community as well. She also has her own model workshop as well that she facilitates um, out of New York as well. She's been quite inspirational, quite fearless, um, unapologetic. I really, really admire her. And for that reason, she is my trailblazer. And for me, for somebody who's also petite, um, which was, um, you know, pretty obvious in the um, holiday photo shoot pictures that we did, um, like if you look here, right? Like even with heels on there, look like itty bitty Stephanie. I've I've often I've often felt, um, you know, like as like I'm not a model, but to blog, I have to model, and you know, for this photo shoot, I decided to participate in it. Um, it's 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 a little bit intimidating to be below, you know, like I'm smaller than five three, right? So. Um, so it is nice to see role models like that who are rocking it short, you know, and they're breaking the um, mold, right, yeah. for what the industry perceives as what a model should be. And I find that bloggers and trailblazers like Jeannie Ferguson are breaking down those barriers and they're like, you know what, there is no mold for what a model should look like. Yeah, exactly. You know? Exactly. Well, um, I'm like on the shorter end as well. I'm five six. Right. And I'm a size, like, what, 18, 20, more of a 20 than an 18. So, and Jeannie, it's so funny, at the Curvy Expo, when I was told that I was opening, I'm like, oh, my God. I'm like, this is, like, groundbreaking. And I'm like, what would Jeannie do? And I'm like, Jeannie yeah. would wiggle those hips, and, wiggle that and, and, yeah, and, and rock did. it. Yeah. And that's exactly what I did. Like, thank you for owning that. And you know what? That day I owned it as well. And it, it, felt, it felt really, it felt damn good, actually. And I think that there's bits and pieces of the Curvy Expo video for anybody watching yeah. on the Curvy Expo um, Instagram page. Yeah. And I think on their Facebook page, there's the entire video. So folks, if you want to see Ophelia, Katarina, Sarah, and many others who were part of, you know, they were Canadian plus size models at Curvy Expo on that runway. You can go and check it out there. Um, so here's to Jeannie. We will put up her uh, links at the end of the video, her Instagram is at plus model genie f um so it's flipped over there sorry about that j-e-a-n-n-i-e f so mm-hmm. plus model genie f actually plus mod m-o-d um but anyway we'll we'll put her handle up there afterwards and was this also this is her this, this is, one is of her. her yeah She's featured on um pose magazine um pose magazine is actually um founded uh by chip jones she's also a mogul in herself but this is uh, uh, a genie right there. Fabulous, right? So yeah, so she really is. so yeah, so when you want it, folks, whatever it is, keep at it, go get it, right? So even yourself. Yep. Um, we'll 
post the link, Seth, for Curvy Expo. Yes, I will. I'll post anything that we mention in the video afterwards I or, or the next day, depending on how tired I am after the video. Um, I put all the links of everything that we talked about, everything we covered. Um, so thank you for those, Ophelia. Um, so earlier I mentioned Canadian confidence. Um, so what is Canadian confidence? So um, back in approximately September of 2016, uh, Tara Warren, who is a Toronto um, fashion blogger, and um, Sophia says, Seth, where are your bangs? It's called, I don't feel like doing my hair today. Um, and lots of hairspray, so <laughs> voila, no bangs, <laughs> but they're still there. <laughs> um, so back in September 2016, Tara Warren, who's a model, uh, sorry, a blogger and um, fashion stylist, had seen a um, video from BuzzFeed that went viral, and it was basically a group of really charismatic American plus-size bloggers and models who wanted to show um, what plus-size women can do, despite the myths of what we can or cannot do. Um, so Tara challenged us to create a Canadian version um, and the hashtag Canadian Confidence Project was born. Um, so the aim was to dispel the negative misconceptions that surround bigger bodies and our video depicts some of the Canadian plus size industry's biggest movers and shakers, including myself, um, doing what we do best, which is blowing these stereotypes out of the water. So we got together, I think there were 17 of us in all, and uh, we picked whatever segments we wanted to be in. So for me, one of the segments was, you know, um, plus size women can't find love, you know, so I'm, I'm happily married. So, you know, I wanted to feature that. Um, plus size women shouldn't or can't wear white. So I picked to be in that one as well. There was other segments like um, uh, yoga, you know what I mean? I don't personally do yoga, so there was some other women who um, chose to be in that part. So. It was, it was a whole day, like there's actually some planning sessions beforehand, and then it was a whole day, and I'm going to show you a short little clip, it's three minutes, so I'm not going to show the whole thing, but if you want to see it, you can either go to the Canadian Confidence YouTube page, or the Sexy Plus Clothing YouTube page, it's on both those pages, but I'm going to show you a little clip of it right now. Okay, so that's all you're going to get. I know that I've teased you and that you're going to want to go watch the rest. So that was a couple of the segments there. Um, can't do burlesque. Can't wear short shorts, right? So there's a segment on uh, swimsuits, um, sports, right? So it's a really great video. Um, so it's the hashtag is Canadian Confidence. And um, we'd really appreciate if you would share that video too. Um, you can go to YouTube and then just click on share and copy the link. Um, you know, to inspire and motivate other women too, especially, hey, Simone Denny just joined. Simone, how are you doing? Um, you know, for other women to see us, you know, dispelling those myths, um, being confident, beautiful while doing it. Um, you know, we want to connect with people. We want to connect with women. And um, the more, thank you, Sophia. She says the video is totally inspiring. I'm so glad to hear that. Um, yeah, I think that, I think that little by little, it's things like this that actually change the world. I mean, that sounds really big, but um, it's things like this that force people to see plus-size women and beauty diversity as more mainstream. They, it, it becomes less shocking. It becomes normal. You know what I mean? Like, how often do you see, for example, a Colgate commercial with a plus-size woman and her husband or a plus-size man and his wife? No, you don't. Never. You know what I mean? So the only time you do is in weight commercials mm -hmm. uh, or, um, you know, in, in movies where it, it, they're being made fun of. Yeah, exactly. So I want to see plus size people as just part of mainstream, just regular, yeah. so that it's not about them being plus size. It's just about the friggin' toothpaste. Exactly. Right? Exactly. Um, so please share the video. We appreciate your support. Um, and now it's time to try stuff on. Um, so Ophelia's already picked out a dress that she liked in the store, and so I'm going to
going to ask her if you could go try that on. By the way, I have everything in the store. <laughs> <laughs> so while she tries that on, um, I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about um, Valentine's. Valentine's Day is coming up, and I wanted to know, <coughs> excuse me, do you guys, um, do you wear lingerie um, for your partner? Um, hang on, I'm just going to interrupt myself here and read what Belinda says. Belinda says, I'm feeling more confident since seeing your video and your pics, ladies, especially when we're in your outfits. If you ever decide to shoot our video of regular people, i.e. your customers, hang on, I have to click see more, I'm in. Belinda, you hit the nail on the head. I want to do a shoot coming up soon with all customers who are not models, who are not necessarily striving to be models, just regular women. I totally want to do that. So I'm going to do a casting call for that and ask um, you all interested to come forward. So, excuse me, Belinda, please keep an eye out for that. Totally want to do that. Um, I, I'm going to do a Valentine's shoot as my next project, but probably for the summer, I'll do something like that. And Sophia says, ooh, me. Yeah, man, Sophia, awesome. You'd be, you'd be great at it. Um, dress up time. Yes, Liza. So, yeah, so going back to Valentine's. So do you guys wear... Um, Valentine's, um, do you celebrate it? Um, you know, for me, for a long time, I didn't wear lingerie, and I find that it wasn't good for me. I'm just going to block Ophelia because I don't want you guys to see her yet. And, um, you know, it, it, for a long time I didn't, and I find that it wasn't healthy for me, like mentally, um, for my own sensuality. Um, and then finally I just decided to get back into it, and I think that it is a good libido booster. Um, so if you've been, you know, if you've like fallen off the lingerie horse, so to speak, um, maybe this year challenge yourself to get back on. Okay, so let's see what Ophelia's wearing. Ophelia, come back. Yeah, I knew you would. Our text is so nice on you. Okay. Wow, look at that. This is called the trellis dress because it's sort of a trellis design and it has isn't she like look at her perfectly <laughs> modeling like stop it <laughs> yeah yeah I love it yeah um yeah beautiful so this is Artex one of our Canadian made lines uh Ophelia has been modeling Artex since all the way since like Young Street um this was part of our winter collection so I think I have uh, a 1416 um, an 1820 and a 2022 left. So this dress is online, folks. It's kind of like a sweater knit. And if you come closer, actually, so here in the back, um, actually, I'll sorry about for a second there. I'm just going to unplug the phone. So I can show you guys the back here has like this button detail. Um, and then turn around. Yeah, and then the front here, the pockets. Such a gorgeous dress. And it's it like is. a, it's kind of like a sweater knit fabric. It is nice, very comfortable. Nice length for the office. Yeah, comfy, beautiful. Wow, thank you so much for trying that on. No problem, I love it. I know, right? I think you should have it. I think so too. <laughs> what do you guys think? What do you guys think? Do you love it? Gabrielle <laughs> says, love it on you. Simone <laughs> says, love this dress. Um, yeah, Sophia, I think, is talking about lingerie. She's saying, I love anything that makes me feel sexy and confident. That then translates into boudoir. Yeah, for yeah, sure. That's true. Exactly. Um, so so cute. Buttons and pockets, win-win. Yeah, nice design elements, right? That's that's why I love that brand, Artex. All right. So um, I'm going to show you guys what my favorite new arrival is. Ophelia, could I actually ask you to hold it and kind of follow me around? I don't need to change. You can just you can see it if you kind of peer in. Um, so it's basically, it's not going to go, it's not going to go with my outfit today. I didn't, I didn't coordinate this, um, but it's a Joseph Ribkoff designer cover-up. So basically cool. it's like a shawl, but it has this ruching here at the back and these long panels and just look at how, oh, so, so never mind cute. the fact that I'm wearing like a burgundy that's sweater. So cute. Imagine I'm wearing like. A black dress or something like that, right? So you can wear it as a shawl. So it's an alternative to a bolero. Nice. I think some of us are sick of boleros yeah, yeah. in terms of arm coverage, right? 
And so look at how nice it is in back. And then... I love it. Yeah, and then you can wear... You can do a knot like that. Oops, just a little bit more like this way. This way, yeah, and then down. Yeah, perfect, perfect. Yeah, and so um, just a nice piece for the summer. Very dramatic. And I'm going to be getting it in five colors. Oh, wow. So this is it in the cobalt, kind of, kind of like a purpley cobalt blue. And black and off-white and the pink Beautiful. and <clears throat> and I can't remember if there's is that five colors pink black blue the off white that's four so there's another color coming so I'll have all of these in the store for the spring it's by Joseph Ritzkoff it's a designer um, brand um, so it's not cheap but you know sometimes the, the accessories yeah just, like just finish the look yeah so imagine going to like a summer wedding yeah and you have a sleeveless dress that you love yep. but maybe you just want a little bit more of a formal look yep. or you want some um arm coverage this is a really good solution and you know what every woman should have a designer dress in her wardrobe and yeah I find uh joseph Ritzkoff, um don't you know to you know you he may seem a little pricey, but he's actually quite cheap for a, de a designer brand. Yeah, I mean, there's some designer yeah. brands that are, like, in the 700s, right? Oh, for sure, and up. And the thing about him is that his quality lasts. Um, Joseph Urkoff is my favorite designer um, and art tech, too, and Fiona. There's actually a few, but yeah. in terms of quality and fit mm -hmm. and longevity, it would ha I would have to say it's Joseph Urkoff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hey, Tiara. Hi. Hey, girl. Tiara just joined. Hi, boo. <laughs> Hi, Karen. Hey, hey, Karen. Thanks for joining. Oh, she's like, she's another ball of fire, too. And was she in Curvy Expo? Yes, she was. Yeah, I remember yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, she was. Yeah. And both Tiara and Karen, they were also a part of a Full Figure Fashion Week as well. Right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so us Canadian here, us Canadians in the plus uh, size fashion industry, we've, you know, made some headway and we're, we're getting noticed, right? Like yeah. we're, you Finally. know. Finally. Yeah. Finally. Yeah. All right, um, so let's talk about, I hope you enjoyed uh, those styles that we featured. Um, so again, I just wanted to remind everybody, this week's prize is 30% off an item of your choice. Amazing. And so you need to share this video and then come back and comment shared so that I can capture your entry. Because if you just share it, Facebook doesn't give me that information. So when you come back and you say shared, that's how I capture your entry. So I hope we get lots of entries and you have really good chances because to be honest, it gets shared by about 40 people or so. So your chances are one in 40. Those pretty are good. pretty good odds, pretty good. right? Um, you know, Sarah, um, Sarah Taylor won uh, the $45 one last week yeah. and she got a Joseph Ribkoff designer dress with, you know, with that. So making it a little bit more affordable. So 30% off, that can be pretty significant, right? Um, so my upcoming guest, are on January 10th, I have Jennifer McCready. So she is um, Lady Luck Pinup Boudoir Photography. Wow. Uh, so, sorry, Lady Luck Pinup. She doesn't just do boudoir, she does that, but also like retro, um, very um, vintage inspired. She has a studio with like crazy accessories, like an old school toaster and like an old school telephone and like yeah, all kind of stuff like that. So, we're going to talk about that. And then she's also going to give us some tips on how to take a selfie, how to take a good selfie. Some of us are pros at it, but a lot of women, customers that come in here, they're like, they have no idea. So Jennifer's going to give us some tips on how to take a good selfie, how to pose for a picture. Like if you're at a family event, you don't know how to pose and you hate getting your picture taken, turn that into like, I can't wait to pose and exactly. get my picture taken, own right? It. Own it. Own it, right. Yeah. And, and, and there's some specific techniques that'll help you with how to pose, what to do with your face, um, great vintage photography, very cool lady, Simone says, indeed, right? Um, and then, um, January 17th, guess what? I have Kat Leonard oh, and Megan Bradley, what a um, right? So <laughs> Megan Bradley is the creator of Curvy Expo. Yeah. Um, Kat Leonard is a TV host, personality, uh, entertainer, comedian. And so they're going to be, I don't know how we're going to fit the three of them. Together. On the Facebook Live, we might have to go this way um, for January seventeenth. But um, yeah, so um, so that's it for today's show. Ophelia, is there anything else you wanted to say or share, or um, what's coming up for you? What are you doing this year? 
Oh, okay. So, um, I actually, uh, this year has started off with quite a bang. Um, thank you so much, God. Thank you. <laughs> um, first of all, uh, I just want to say thank you to everyone that donated and nominated to yeah. Celia and Friends. Your drive was yeah. amazing. So, I have um, a food drive that I do every year. It's called Ophelia and Friends Gives Back. And the first year, um, I was able to assist three families. Second year, five families in a soup kitchen. This year, the third year, it was uh, supposed to be 20 families, but we ended up assisting 24 families. And I'll be honest with you, I want to share this because this is important. Um, this year, in 2016, I lost my grandmother, and it was very emotional for me. And I wasn't too sure if I was going to... Like if you had the drive. I, I didn't think I did. Yeah. And mm -hmm. then I pushed myself. So if there's anything that you're unsure of or you want to do that you may not think that you can do it, I challenge you to push because... If I had not pushed myself, I would not have exceeded my target. On um, GoFundMe, I wanted to raise $650. I raised $945. What's coming up now is I, in January, which we're in, which I'll be announcing shortly. I guess I'm announcing it now, right? <laughs> <laughs> it's something called Giving Beyond the Season. I've had so many emails, phone calls about doing it outside of the holiday. Do it. So, Ophelia, yeah. do we still have, do you have a family that I can yeah. help. Ophelia, we still want to donate. Yeah. So I'm still accepting nom um, nominations, donations, and that will roll out shortly. And it's called Giving Beyond the Season because often we think that the need only exists uh, during Christmas, Thanksgiving, Easter. Yeah. What about the in between? Yeah. And so that's what uh, where Ophelia Enterprises. That's the ph philanthropy co component of my business, and um, it, it's it's capturing that need and uh, absorbing that need. So that's the first thing. Number two is uh, this fa uh, Sunday. I'm actually a part of. Uh, I've been honored to. Um, uh, I've been asked. Uh, by Emily Mills to be a part of her story, which is a photo series um, featuring 150 black women in Canada who are making strides and paving the way. So I'll be a part of that. Thank you. I was so honored when I was asked, yeah. you know. So it's anywhere from, and it's just not models, it's um, models, speakers, scientists, engineers, our dentists, our community mm -hmm. activists. So mm -hmm. that's what will be at that event. And then we also have your event coming up as yes. well. Yep, uh, so, lingerie photo shoot. Yeah. So you guys, yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so um, in the same way that we put together the holiday photo shoot for you, um, you know, professionally photographed by Elliot Parrott Photography. Amazing. Um, yeah, he's very talented. Um, we're going to do the same thing for Valentine's. So get ready to see the same crew plus Ophelia and maybe another new face um, for the Valentine's photo shoot, which will be in a very cool location. Um, and so I will share more details as they become available, but that is scheduled for the end of January too. So very exciting. Yeah. Before we go, I just want to say thank you to you for everything. You're so, uh, a, just a brief, you know, moment. A part of my story is there was a time I started this in 2003, 2004, and I had uh, two bullies who wouldn't give up, and I stopped. I stopped. I gave up on my dream, and then, you know, it was, you know, God. I'll definitely say because I feel like he, he strategically puts everyone and everything in place and then finally saying you know what I'm going to stand up to that and that person that he strategically put in my play in, in, in my in my way was you you know after that I actually gave up and um, then after all of that I finally got my footing and then I ran into Stephanie and Stephanie really she gave me a second chance you know to really prove myself and to really get away from the negativity and yeah. the people that try to push me down. And I'm sharing this to say thank you to you. Thank you for everything. You're like genuinely, oh my gosh, I'm gonna cry. Like thank you. And also I'm sharing this because if there's anything in your life that you feel like maybe someone has pushed you and crushed you and you feel like you've just given up and you've stopped pursuing what you truly want to do, guess what? I challenge you to find a spiritual base to get connected with that. To number two, to get connected to a good inner circle, such as staff. Get connected with people that genuinely have the same passion and see the, the see your beauty. And guess what? 
don't give up. People are, there are good people and there are bad people. And there are people who will be jealous and see what you have before you even see what you have. And that's why they try to crush you. And that's why you need to constantly reaffirm that belief in yourself. Yeah. Because in the moments where, let's say, you're struggling financially or you're getting bullied or yep. um, you're insecure because your competition is coming out with some really cool stuff, it's in those moments that you're most vulnerable. So you need to reaffirm your belief in yourself and kind of remain steadfast to that commitment. Yeah. Right? Like, I'm, I almost gave up on Sexy Plus, right? In, I think, 2014, um, you know, and I've, I've told this story before where my accountant was like, you know, the numbers aren't looking good. What are you going to do about it? And I almost gave it up. And, um, you know, Tracy says toxic people need to be removed from one's life. Exactly. It's, it's absolutely true. Surround your people um, who support and admire you and respect you and, exactly. and, and only want to elevate you, right? So, yeah, so I almost gave up Sexy Plus. I cried for about a week thinking, what am I going to do? Should I get into real estate? I don't know, right? And then finally I decided, no, I'm going to work harder. I'm going to work smarter. I'm going to recommit. And, uh, you know, two years later, uh, going on to three years later now, 2017, I, I, I wouldn't want to be anywhere else. I love Sexy Plus. I live and breathe Sexy Plus and the women that I work with. Yeah. And, like, like, we were talking just the other day. I have, like, the best job in the world. You really right? do. So, you really and, do. I mean, I've had some down moments. So, yeah. um, so thank you for you that. Do, make sure that you get that, that, that foot off your neck. And you do it. 2017 is your year to kill it, get it, do it. So thank you to Steph for being one of those people that really gave me that chance. And, you know, I, I, I feel like I'm going to cry, but just thank you. And I appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, you're thank welcome. You. Thank you, too, because you helped me sell a lot of clothes. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! <laughs> <laughs> all right well thanks for watching so much everybody appreciate seeing all the familiar faces and the new faces um go check out ophelia aileen um ophelia enterprises on facebook ophelia enterprises on instagram we'll put the links and also uh, go to um youtube the sexy plus canadian conference um page take a look at that video very cool and um see you next week um, with Jennifer um, from Lady Pinnock Photography. Bye, everybody. Thanks so Bye. much for watching. Bye.